I'm John Alder for DIYPhotography.net. We're a little outside the photography show right now, but I'm here with Steve Lloyd to talk about the chroma camera. So, Steve, hi. Hi. Welcome to the show. Thanks. So, you've brought your chroma along with you, which is a 4x5 large format acrylic laser cut <laughs> camera. That's the one. Brilliant. Um, and you just had a really good Kickstarter, haven't you? Yeah, I was really impressed with the, the kind of result from it. Real, lots of interest. So, yeah. 148 cameras sold. Wow. <laughs> wow. And so, tell us about the camera. Um, it's, as I say, it's a 4x5 field camera. It's got full technical standards. So, it's independent control of rise and fall and tilt uh, and swing. It weighs about 1.6 kilos. Uh, it takes standard film holders, roll film backs, and I'm currently working on a wet plate and in sax wide back as well. Brilliant, so, so basically it comes with everything you need to just add on a lens, throw in a dark slide, and you're yeah, basically good yeah, to go. Yeah, out the box if you like, it'll come with a standard lens board for taking a standard lens and shutter. It'll also come with a pinhole lens board. Um, and it takes standard double dark side oh, holes. So you can so. pretty much start shooting with yeah, it yeah. right away, even without a lens, just yeah. use the pinhole. Yeah, yeah, you can shoot pinhole on it as well, so it's sort of good to go straight away, really. Brilliant, brilliant. So these aren't available for most people just yet, are no. they? Because you've got to get all the Kickstarter ones out first. Yeah, so the priority is, is getting Kickstarter back as done. As I say, they're up to November was the, the kind of the last reward in Kickstarter. Once they're done, um, whatever that is, they, I'll then take orders through our website, which is chroma.camera. And, and the price for these, when they go on general sales, surprisingly, it's exactly the same as the Kickstarter. It is, yeah. It is. Yeah. Most people, it's like they do them on Kickstarter cheap to get yeah. a load of interest, and then they ramp them up when yeah. they go on sale, but this is staying the same price. Yeah, I didn't want to kind of oversell afterwards and things, and I wanted the Kickstarter to more be about people getting their hands on them first. So that was the, the, the benefit behind Kickstarter yeah. really to, to get first in the queue. And that price is 250 pounds, right? It is, yeah. It is brilliant, brilliant. So what was it that made you first decide to design and build your own large format camera? Um, a pub. A pub. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was a conversation in a pub on a, a film photography meetup. Um, I, I've always built sort of single cameras, I built one off customs. Um, and I've never built a, a camera from the ground up. So I was, I was chatting to a couple of guys and they, they made the suggestion and I kind of, I have difficulty ignoring suggestions like that. So I started designing about 18 months ago and then here where we are now. And here we are. Oh, brilliant. So, I mean, I know obviously you've got to get the Kickstarter ones out first, but how soon do you hope to have these available to sales? Um, I'd like to say they'll be before November. That's, okay. when, that's when the last Kickstarter rewards are, are due, will be November. Uh, obviously, the Kickstarter will all be built as quickly as possible to a high standard. So once they're out, I will make an announcement on the site and Instagram and everywhere else. Brilliant. They're available. Brilliant. Well, fantastic. Thank you very much, Thanks Steve. Lot, Thanks Enjoy lot. what's left of the show. I will. I'll Brilliant. head back in there now. Good. I'm John Alder for DIYPhotography.net. That's pretty much it from the show now. We might have one or two more videos to come, but stay tuned and we'll see you next time. If you like some more cool movies, you can check out this one and this one, and you can subscribe to us down here.